one to one. My first morning coffee is wearing off. I'm gonna show you how I make the best coffee ever, the fastest, with uh, a really cool, neat little contraption that didn't cost much at all. This is it, folks, the AeroPress. And some of you are going, well, wait a minute, that's, that's easy enough, but hang on. Here's the trick. We're gonna take the AeroPress, and rather than putting it together the way we normally would, which is like this, with the bottom screwed on, and then press it into a mug, we are going to invert the AeroPress, and we're gonna put it together like this. Upside down, as it were. We're gonna put the funnel in. We're gonna put our fresh ground coffee beans in. Make sure we get all the coffee grounds in. Don't wanna waste any of the fresh co coffee grounds, fresh ground beans. And now, we are ready to do our inverted press. What we need is hot water from the kettle. Okay, boiling kettle, just boiled. Might be able to see the smoke coming off of that. We are going to start to pour it in the top of the funnel. And this washes the rest of the grounds around and kind of cleans off the funnel too. Then I'll move the funnel out of the way. We're gonna to top up the arrow press almost to the top. Just leave about half an inch or a centimeter or so. And then we're gonna get our stir stick. Stir stick that came with the AeroPress. We're gonna give the uh, grinds and the boiling water a quick swizzle, quick stir there. Then I'm gonna grab my timer, set it for three minutes. Three minutes is my favorite amount of time to let it brew. I've tried it three, four, five, uh, I've tried it less than three, and three is perfect. While we're waiting for it to brew, we're gonna take the bottom of the AeroPress, the little filter, perforated hole attachment where the coffee comes out when it's done. We're gonna take one of our AeroPress filter discs, drop it into there. So we're getting it ready. We're gonna put it on the top now. Oh, dropping the filter out. We're gonna flip it on the top of the AeroPress, twist it to lock it on there, and wait for our three minutes to be up. Three minutes is up, grab a cup. I've got my Pink Floyd Hammers mug. You flip the AeroPress onto the top of the mug and then you give it a press, nice and slow. You're waiting for the sound of air starting to hiss and that signals that there's no coffee left in the AeroPress and that you're just pushing air through the grounds. That's when you stop. It's almost done, I can hear. Nice and slow, you don't wanna aerate it or overpress it too fast. You're gonna oxidize it a bit if you get extra air in there. Okay, we're done there. Some people push it right to the end, I don't. As soon as I start to hear the air, I tip it off, catch the drips. Then I take my kettle, because basically right now you got close to an espresso. If you had to drop the water a little more, you would have had a shot of espresso. So the cup's half full. I'm just gonna finish topping it up right to the top. And there you have it. Mmm. Perfect cup of coffee every time. Awesome, fast, best coffee I've ever made.